Hello, I'm Dr. Philip Yu at the LaserMed Pain Institute, and today I'm going to demonstrate uh, basically how we treat uh, knee pain, particularly uh, degenerative arthritis of the knee. Um, this gentleman here, uh, Alan, happens to have uh, pretty much bone-on-bone -bone osteoarthritis of the knee, confirmed by x-ray and MRI. Uh, He's tried uh, multiple different types of treatments, uh, you know, your anti-inflammatory pills, um, injections of hyaline cartilage, uh, even had some consults for uh, stem cell replacement therapy, and is actually scheduled to have a total knee replacement, which we're hoping we can prevent. So I'm going to bend your knee, Alan, you're going to show me when you first came in here, how much were you about to bend your knee before we started treatment? About that far? Far. So we have about maybe 60, 65 degrees of flexion. We know that because when you do have bone on bone arthritis, it's very hard to flex because there's no space in there. However, um, I'm going to demonstrate the therapy and retest the flexibility. So basically, uh, we always start out with the high power laser therapy, class 4. And what the laser does, it puts in healing photonic light energy into the tissue. Now we've all heard that you need vitamin D from the sun for strong bones because that's what strengthens your bones, the vitamin D3. And if you don't have enough of that, you know, the knees get weak and they topple. So not only will this stimulate the absorption of vitamin D exactly where the tissue needs it, it also brings in heat and blood for circulation, and that fresh blood will bring in fresh stem cells to repair the damage in the tissue. It will also put ATP energy into the cells of mitochondria of the knee to help increase the metabolism, which increases the healing factor as well. Okay? Also shuts off the pain signals. So, how does that feel? Nice and warm? Yes. Tell me if it's too hot. It's okay. Now, as you can see, we have these pads here, and we're delivering what's called AC Tesla current. Now, I'm going to turn up a little. You tell me if it's too much. Okay. As you can see, people with degenerative knees, a lot of times their quadriceps muscles, their leg muscles become weak. So we're stimulating the quadriceps muscle to keep the knee cap in balance so we can flex and extend and have a normal... Uh, function and range of motion. You can see how the AC Tesla current is allowing the muscle to contract to prevent atrophy and degeneration, keep those knee muscles strong. And this cannot be reintroduced with traditional uh, DC current electrotherapy devices like most clinics use because you can't get high voltage because the amps are too high. With the Tesla treatment device, we can get high voltage because the amps are low, so it's very comfortable. There's no pain, and as you can see, all the procedures are non-invasive. So I'm going to retest Alan's knee flexion after the therapy. Let's straighten that out, and tell me if and when the pain starts. As you can see, we could go way past 90 degrees. In fact, he's probably about 130 degrees, and supposedly you're not supposed to flex that far past 90 degrees if you have bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. So I think we're proving, you know, them wrong. So as we can see, all the procedures are non-invasive. They heal the knee naturally. And with these procedures, we're hoping that most people who are considering total knee replacement surgery, we could prevent that with our non-invasive, high-tech state-of-the-art procedures. Thank you for watching uh, No Knee Surgery TV. I'm Dr. Philip Hugh.